Hi guys, it's Eugene from Ginger and you are watching Tattoo.com. Hey everybody, it's Miss Chibi Smell and I'm live from the Edge Rock Radio, Tattoo.com and Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine and I am sitting here with Eugene from Ginger. Hi guys, great to be here again. Great to do this interview again. Yeah, so, and the nice days. It's a nice day, yeah, here. Yeah. Sun shines. But it was raining, yeah, in the morning. I just missed it because I was still asleep. It was raining, and there's actually floods down in Texas about six hours from here. Oh, so did I hear about bad that. Badass rain. So, sorry like, what, three feet It's because of, of the hurricane, right? I don't know if it was a hurricane. I think it was just really shitty weather. Shitty weather. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, to be fair, weather, you know, is shitty most yeah, of the time. Yeah, we were destroying this planet, and this is what we have in return, shitty weather. There you yeah, go. It's, get, it's getting shittier and shittier, actually, every year. But speaking yeah. of destroying things, you guys are destroying stages. Holy fuck, you guys are on your headlining American tour? For the first time. How's that going? Uh, it's been going really good. Really good. Uh, we So far, it's the eighth show, if I'm not mistaken, and so far we had six out of eight sold out. This is going to be sold out, too, tonight. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's just, I still cannot believe that it's been so good. Like, all shows are packed. If it's not sold out, completely packed. People are going crazy. In Albuquerque, we had this nonstop crowd surfing mosh pit, even two mosh pits at some point. <laughs> so, yeah, things are, go uh, th things are very good. And I personally, I enjoy these shows very much. Well, I... I am super stoked because you guys are coming out with a new album in October 25th, correct? Yeah, exactly. Macro? Macro. And I am not the only one excited. People cannot get enough of you. I was reading, somebody was asking, will you have some early on the North American tour? I know we'll drop when you guys are in Canada, but we want some at the merch table. That is how hungry your fans are for you right now. Uh, yeah, they are very hungry. Unfortunately, we have no no albums at the moment, no CDs at all. They are only coming to Florida, and I have no idea what exactly they are going to be. I am quite doubtful we'll have a new album so early. It's too early. Right. But closer to the release day, why not? I think it is possible. And uh, just for all fans to be aware, we already are playing... Two, we are already playing two songs uh, from the upcoming uh, album. One is which is released already, it's Judgment and Punishment, and Retrospection, completely unreleased, so the only place you can hear it is actually live shows on this American tour. And we will also, during this tour, we'll add a few more songs. So. See, if you didn't have a reason enough before to come to Ginger, the brand new fucking music. So if you're one of those people like me that are counting the days for the album, <laughs> it's all I got to do is get my ass to the venue, right? Yeah, and definitely, definitely you'll have a, a short sneak peek of, of the album just live. Yeah, we'll, we're performing the songs. Uh, and uh, it's also, I think it's something really unique because uh, we just started playing these songs. They are not that well polished as the others. And... So there, there won't be any other experience like this. Yeah, listening to the songs now, I, uh, I just imagine me being kind of a fan. It would be really cool uh, just to, to see the songs performed live first, uh, for the first time ever. Yeah. So literally raw, literally like right raw, out of the room raw. of yeah, Ginger. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we didn't even have much time to rehearse them. Yeah, we recorded them. We had a few weeks before this tour. We re rehearsed them very hard, but I don't think it was enough. So it's going to be a bit raw, but rock and roll. <laughs> that's well, that's it. when it's the best, though. And, yeah, and talk yeah. about Brave, man. Ball's right out there just like, fuck it. We're going to use the whole venue and our live show headlining tour as our practice. I love it. <laughs> that, because, I mean, you guys are, holy shit. I mean, there's every other metal band out there, and I'm a fan of a lot of them. I have never in 41 years heard anything like you guys or seen anything i'm still in awe of how to explain it to people other than just fucking go thank thank you we we do not consider ourselves to be so good yeah uh, but we're just doing our best this is this is what i keep saying when people when i got this get these compliments like how good we are on stage but we're just doing our best and we still think that it is not our limit we there is a lot where we, I mean, we can grow and grow and grow. It, 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 we are definitely not at our top point at the moment as performers, as musicians. So and it, it will definitely take some more time to learn more and more. And who knows? Yeah, I, I, I'm just, I just mean that 
it can be better <laughs> yeah what we do well if this is if this is your baby steps i can't wait to see the better because i mean maybe not baby steps but somewhere just you know teenager teenagers teeth, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god and congratulations to you you are endorsed now and yeah. well have been for a while but can talk about it now yeah yeah i i am now with uh, overload guitars from italy wonderful bass guitars and guitars too as long as i only play the bass yeah so and it it is great i was literally shocked when i got the guitar because i couldn't even expect it would be so good so good yeah uh, and now all old songs in drop c i only play this overload taurus bass yeah i'm absolutely satisfied with this and can't wait to get more guitars f from this company and i think that speaks to as you were saying i was giving you compliments but people that personally know me know I'm a bitch, so I don't just pretend to be nice. And <laughs> secondly, the fact that that speaks to your talent. I mean, you know, people are in the business, you guys are making noise, you're headlining tours worldwide. Not just home, worldwide. Just announced Australia. There, see? <laughs> no sleep for the wicked, right? <laughs> Not at all, yeah. yeah. I, I, would, I would love to have some rest, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, but anyway, yeah, no, no rest for the wicked at the moment, at least. Well, you know where you can rest. You can rest in a tattoo chair, and I heard you got a couple of new ones that you might yeah, want to share. Yeah, yeah. Since us. We, we saw each other last time, I just had some some new ones on, on this my my uh, left arm. So th this was a hands-free job in uh, Montevideo, Uruguay. We were on tour there last uh, autumn, right after our American run with Devil Driver. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we went there, and, well, I really, I was really, you know, uh, over the moon because of that Latin American tour. It, we were headlining, and we had big rooms, and we, I saw just how many fans and how cool they are, and just how dedicated those fans are to us. And, well, I, I wanted to have something as memorabilia, and it, what can be better than a tattoo? Yeah, and uh, Ur Uruguay, I just had this one, which was, like I said, uh, freehand, right on me. I was a bit afraid at the beginning, but then I just let it go. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this one, which, which I, I got in Japan, just same story, wonderful mini tour, four shows uh, in um, Japan. And after the last show in Tokyo, I just uh, uh, made friends with a wonderful tattooist. He took me to his uh, studio, which is not in Tokyo. It was in Nagoya. It took us an hour to drive there. Yeah, and, well, Fuji, yeah, Shinto uh, Gate, our logo, and Sakura, I think, perfectly. And we were there exactly with, 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 when Sakura blows. Oh, wow. We, uh, uh, blossoms, blossoms, right? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, blossoms, yeah. Yeah, so a good memorabilia again. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That L is so Love it, love it, yeah. Well, you guys, I mean, like I said, you're fans. I mean, look, you've got fans helping you get tattoos. You've got fans literally following you across country here. I have one certain friend that's been to like three or four of your shows already. And, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like the compliments I'm given isn't just me, you know, trying to kiss your ass because you think you could beat me up, but I could kick your ass. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean, you guys, I've never seen anything like it. The talent, you know, in, in, in Tatiana's range. Well, yeah. Yeah, they're just... <laughs> I mean, holy hell, there's nothing to explain it. <laughs> nothing to explain and to compare. Yeah, she... Set the bar and <laughs> yeah. broke it and broke the ceiling. But you guys are not, you know, I mean, it takes a strong band behind somebody like that. You can't just have one element that's fantastic and then have everybody else just be like, all right, I showed up and I'm here. And you guys fucking bring it. Thank you very much. It's, yeah, it's very pleasant to hear such a feedback and well, really motivates and inspires even for more work in the future.